And so, you know, I think that this is going to be one of the things we're going to try to accomplish this week. But that's all I want to say about composable open infrastructure. I think it's going to be a lot more powerful if we actually do it live on the stage. So uh, first of all, we've got this rack here, courtesy of Dell EMC. And they are going to, uh, we are going to show how we can light that up, make it automated, and actually make it programmable right here on the stage by composing some open infrastructure. So it's bare metal, so we're going to start with a little talk about Ironic, and we're going to show it in action. So let's welcome Julia Krieger to the stage. All right. Thank welcome. You. Good morning. So Julia, we got this, this rack of servers here. Ironic is the bare metal service. How are we going to use that to, to get this under control? So what we're going to do is we have the first, con first node in the rack as the controller, and it has Ironic and Neutron installed, which controls the ability for all the network ports to be controlled, and nodes are attached to the ports and networks. So we're able to actually have a tenant network and deploy machines onto that network. Okay. Presently, we already have some nodes deployed. And if we look at the node list output, we can see some are off, which are just, we've turned them off, we've pre-provisioned them. Mm -hmm. Some we have active. We have two nodes running Docker. We have two nodes running Kubernetes right now. And to show Kubernetes real quick, if we refresh the screen, we can see we also have a down Kubernetes node. OK, so we, we already had uh, used Ironic. We put it on one single node, and along with Neutron, and just those two projects were able to bootstrap our little mini data center here. Yep, exactly. That's pretty powerful. And then in the process, we ended up with Kubernetes on a couple of the nodes. And, uh, or maybe three, but we have one turned off. We're trying to save a little bit of money here on electricity. But you know, maybe we should turn it back on and see if we can add capacity here live on the stage. Absolutely. So we'll deploy some more machines then. Let's do it. As you can see, we have networks. We have disk images. So we're going to choose a network. and choose a file to deploy to the systems. And we have a handy script that takes care of the network attachments uh, and all the network port creation in Neutron so that it be basically becomes seamless. Ironic will pick up and run with it from there. OK. So we like automation. That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. so, we're, so we've already shown uh, some of the command line tools for Ironic. You showed us the node list, the status of each one, and now you're starting to, uh, to ask for more. Basically, yes. OK, we always like more. That's really cool. OK, and so you showed us the Kubernetes dashboard. So now we've got Kubernetes running on this bare metal server that we've automated and brought up uh, with just one node running Neutron and, uh, and Ironic. So that's pretty powerful. And if we wanted to expand and actually add a bunch of more racks, we're already in a position to do that. Is that exactly. right? Cool, OK. So we're starting to compose open infrastructure. We've got bare metal. We've got an, a way to control the network through Neutron. I think we're going to need some storage. I know a couple folks that can help us with that. 